Do you like rye? Do you like 100% rye whiskey? Do you like toasted 100% rye whiskey? We'll let you know if we do. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. Uh, today, we're, we're going to go back to our buddies up in the, the, the Garden State. That's right. Your, yeah. your home state. Yes. The so, state. we are going uh, back to the Penelope. This is the Heavily Toasted Rye. They just released out this series uh, in June of 2023, I think it is. So, they decided to play on different levels of toasting, mm -hmm. charring, all that kind of stuff. And, as a little extra benefit of being owned by MGP. It is a mash bill that you can't buy from MGP. It's not even on their website. This is a hundred percent rough. <laughs> I knew when they bought them. They're gonna start doing yeah. crazy things and they're We're already gonna do some things you guys can't starting doing stuff. So it is a hundred percent right. It's not ninety five five. Smart, smart business it's a, decision for it's that. It's a it's a bit of a tweak, a bit of a change. And then they're taking that same mash bill, but they're putting it in Hot, heavily charred, low, uh, no, heavily toasted. charred, lowly, lightly toasted, or this is heavy ch toast, one char. Yeah. That's relatively dark for a one char. Yeah. 100% rye. 100% rye. 100% rye. Let's go. 100 proof and five year old whiskey. Mm -hmm. So okay. let's see. Found this bottle up in Cincinnati. Just nosing around in a liquor store. I've usually had pretty good luck up there. Um, didn't have necessarily some of the stuff I was looking for, but they had this sign that says new item. I don't know, we were all fans of Penelope, but I had never seen that bottle down here. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to scoop it up. And for the longest Man. time, they didn't release rye. They always did a four grain. Yeah. All their That's original true. releases were a blend of high rye MGP bourbon, low rye MGP bourbon, and 95.5. And, oh, and uh, we did yeah. So that's what they used to always do it as a four grain, and that's how they started. But now they're starting to play. The only time that we've ever done a straight rye from Penelope, but I think it was ninety five five, was the uh, the Tokai finished one. Okay. See again, this one says Bardstown. So, wait, they what? Keep it says Penelope Bourbon Bottling Company. Bottled by, bottled by Penelope Bourbon Bottling. Company in Bardstown, Kentucky. Some of them say New Jersey, some of them say Bardstown. That's weird. That's interesting. We've noticed on some maybe other they, ones. Yeah, that, that it says something like, about Bardstown. They, maybe they have another bottling line? I don't know. That's in I'm Kentucky? Like this from here. Yeah. Well, let's see what it smells like a little closer. Ooh, nice, oh, nice color. <laughs> that's a lot of rye. Wow. <laughs> Woo. That is. Herbally and minty and oh. minty, dilly, I'm not gonna go dilly, little dilly, dilly, little dilly, dilly. Oh, dilly, dilly. It's not the cracked pepper, no, or no. any of that kind of it's stuff. All it's, all it's all herbals mint. and and this reminds me of oh, dill. the mint and dill. Oh, it's kind of reminding me of that Willet family, uh, oh, family oh, estate. I'm getting excited. I'm getting uh, this is, I like it. But there's some of that vanilla creeping through from the toast. Yeah, that that's kind of. Yeah, I'm hoping that shows up a little more. <laughs> I was this say, is I bet so you're getting, not down my path I of bet you're what I enjoy. You're, it's all barrel notes for you. A lot smoother than I was expecting. There's a little candy note in there. Yeah, it's like smooth. a it's a very sweet finish. Jolly Rancher type candy. Yeah, I can go there. But then, wow, I was just expecting like that big, like peppery bite. Nothing. No pepper. No, it is not so peppery at all. Mellow. I mean, the, the chill. palate and it's the very finish chilled is out. so mellow. Yeah, I got a touch of mint though. Yeah, almost to the menthol. Like I can, you know, like, it's very cooling. Oh, this is yeah. for those non rye Finishes. people. It gets there. I, I think the Tokai was not the nose, but the, the yeah, palate. the palate oh. is much closer to it. To me, this this is this can make a good cocktail. And that's about as far I I, I oh. would not sip on this neat like this is not the second in my nose. wheelhouse <laughs> mint oh this is this would make a yeah mint and, killer and wild mint dill jill. like oh yeah just like the like, yeah just like herbal off, uh off your herb garden oil yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just like fresh oils from like fresh botanicals I'm interested wow. in the with water I was gonna say 
All right. Not in my profile, but I can appreciate all the cool things that are coming out of that guy. It and it's very like fresh and like vibrant. Yes. It, it, it doesn't. It's not. Oh my gosh! It's got Dale on the nose. No, it's no, it's like it's, really inviting. It's warm. Yeah. It, make, it it brings you in. I get that punch of vanilla right off the right off the bat. It, it's Bacon in there. spices, but it to it's me just, that's just as weird. Vanilla just, with mint. with mint and and dill just is weird. <laughs> it's just weird. Wow. I lost the Jolly Rancher sweetness. I just no, don't. I don't get. No, any, I don't yeah. remember having one that that finishes that smooth though. Right. There's no. It's not sharp. There's no burn. There's no spice. There's no sharpness to it. The um, mouth is still watering. Yeah. I wonder it's what just, this was. I wonder what it, out of the barrel. What was the proof? I wonder why they decided to bring it down to hundred. Mm, I don't know. Super spicy and minty. I don't know. Maybe they were going for the smoother finish. Yeah. Maybe it was a little play, sharp. Play that, so sweet, that, sweet, no, that sweet note. Bring it down, sweet, smooth. Crazy. Let's get more vanilla for the non rye right, people. Yeah, yeah. But so this whole batch, all of them, were all distilled 100 percent, 100 percent rye, distilled in MGP, all in October 2017. And they stayed at MGP though. Is that the? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't move, uh, but they switched up the barrels. Okay. Uh, something again. That's probably why I was in Barnstown. If it's gonna stay there. It's just easier to ship it down. Yeah, six, oh, yeah, six just, five, to, just across all the way instead of taking it all to New Jersey. Yeah, that would make sense. All right, I want to, I want to hit a little water on this. A couple drops. Let's see what mm. happens. There's got to be something to that. Mm. It's pretty. It's 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 very rye rye. Yeah. There's no question about that. It's, and I gotta say, with like I I, I like rye. But I really like that the baking spice rice. I like the star anise. I like the cloves. Where this doesn't have those notes. Right, that's weird. Oh shit! They're like I think it amped up the. That's weird. That just got weird. It got real weird. It got. I mean. <sighs> it's like the dill and mint just completely melded together. It's like you just muddled it in your hand. Yeah. And yes. did that. And then you smell your hand, and you and just get. But I get more bacon spice <clears throat> that, that I don't. I didn't get it earlier. Yeah, those just those two flavors just blended into one. Just smashed. I'm not a. I'm not excited. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm like, not excited at all. What's gonna happen in my mouth? Here we go. With like a, and with like a, you just blew out a candle note. Okay. Like a kind of like a wispy smoke or so. Yeah. Water completely changed that. Good or bad? Now it's just a spicy. Yeah, it's like a spicy rye. It makes these spicy rye. It's way more bacon spice. Yeah. All those things I was saying, I get more clove now. I get no those. water. I still get the mint. The dill is what disappeared on the palate for me. And then now it's more of a clove, baking spice, all spice? I get a yeah. dill. No? I get yeah, a slight yeah, yeah. dill aftertaste, but it is so peppery. I get Spicy. Pepper, the pepper is now showing up. Yeah, I agree with that. I get I, dill disappeared. Yeah, it's just the so first much less. Like, it was like that fresh dill, like you yeah. just bought. Yeah, man, that's. Uh, cool. I like it without the water. I think so as well. I think so too. With I want to make a mint julep. But well, with this. the water, it's more of just your normal rye. I like the fact that it, the nose without the water. Hints more of a rye, but when you drink it, it this this is a weird, sweet, smooth. Mm -hmm. Doesn't drink like a hundred proof. No, no, it no. still doesn't. Even with the, like, it does not drink a hundred proof. There's not a sharpness or a burn or a, any of that. There's not no. even, not even, maybe a little warmth, but it's not a hug mm -hmm. by any means. There, no. There's just a lot of notes in this. I don't, I don't care for. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I am not a rye person. Let's just say you, you weren't the first person that came to mind when I bought this bottle. <laughs> I, I understand. I understand. Watch this. Yeah. Had a try. I to yeah. totally appreciate the purchase and the try. No, I'm anxious now to try the other ones, the other toasted ryes. Yeah. So the medium toast, the so light, light toast, and, and then they, do they also switch the chars as they're doing that? Oh, I can't yes. assume they're all yeah, char they one. I would yep. assume they would, yeah. So, it, like, does the medium 
toast like a three char and then the light toast does a five char and you can like they do it on the four grain i mean that they do they yeah just, but they're toasted is different it seems like they would do the same kind of <laughs> i like it i, I, I like the experimentation i like the fact that they are, are leveraging the fact of they're tied in with MGP. Oh, I'm sure there's. Some, and, I'm and sure there's. Playing. Some, I'm sure there's some input that's going. It's coming down the both way. Yeah, yeah both, yeah, yeah. both sides of that. Gotta have some barrels back in the back. Yeah, that, are that we want to play with. So, yeah, yeah I know. Uh, what's his name? Michael and Daniel, I think, are the two co-founders. They're having fun now. Like, oh, yeah. Like, it was fun. Now they're having fun. <laughs> Their hard work paid off. Yeah, they, got, they, really got their, they got their paycheck, and then it even worked out even better for them as they were asked they get to, to stay, keep on, playing. Yeah. stay on and keep playing. Kid in a candy store. Absolutely. With a really, <clears throat> really, really big candy store. <laughs> <laughs> much, probably a much bigger budget. Probably true, too. But also, I mean, yeah. the, the you know having access to other stuff that people don't get access to. Right. And for $70 for a second barreling. I think I paid 75 for it. So. All right. Yeah. yeah. So right in that ballpark, five-year-old rye with a second barreling, it's about right for 100 proof. That's a lot of work. Going it's work. Ball. It's yeah, work. It's, it's a special run. That I wasn't, sho- I wasn't shocked when the guy, because yeah. they didn't have a price tag out, so I just was curious how much it was. And when he told me it was like 70-ish and then 75 with tax, I was like, I wasn't. Yeah, not a big surprise. I wasn't surprised. Yeah, I have to put a glass of this and just let it sit for like 20 minutes in an hour. Then go in Karen and then cut and smell it. Because even just sitting <laughs> good for this minute. I'm good. I will have this and I will probably never touch that bottle either. <laughs> <laughs> With water. I don't, uh, I don't overly care for neat, but... Uh, I think the neat is delicious. Did you like it better with water, or did no. you like it better neat? I liked it better neat. It was still it was weird, but it was better neat. And I appreciate your point of view of okay. I don't like this, but I appreciate the the notes, the evolving the, of it, and, and the liveliness it, of it. Yeah, the fresh like yeah. Yeah. mint and dill. It, it, like literally walking through a garden and like just ripping it and getting the oils on your hands is really kind of what it came off of. Yeah. But I don't really like those. It's notes. like I don't want to do that on purpose, but <laughs> I don't like if those do, notes. Do it. But but it was really cool that it Man, had I all mean. those. I, I could see in a cocktail with some other things to kind of mellow out some of that. We're all big fans of Penelope. Absolutely. Yep. You know, it was awesome meeting those guys at the Bourbon Festival a couple years yep. ago. Yep. Uh, right when they they kind of just hit the market. They were just expanding beyond the barrel proof. Or they just got to the barrel? No, they just released the toasted. Okay. That was the they just released their first toasted. They had just as good time at the festival as we. They did. had a good time and did um, not show up Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. But they were nice enough. They did send us a, a full bottle as a media sample. Absolutely. Which they told us they would do. So we we obviously definitely appreciate that. Absolutely. First time I ever had it, you brought it over uh, Silver's house. We that was the shirt. regular, regular, regular. And I took a picture the of it. Gold label. Showed it to my wife, yeah. and she was like, "Oh, this is a very pretty bottle." It is. And man, they're doing good things. Yeah, doing great things. Yeah. And got recognized for it. And uh, dude, yeah. congratulations! To them. Yeah. Just hats total off. congratulations. Hats guys. off to them. Well, we hope you enjoyed our review of the Penelope heavily toasted. toasted rye. Two out of the three enjoyed it. Sorry. Hopefully the rest of you <laughs> did. Hopefully the rest of you did as well. And if you did, we as always we'd love the support of the channel and encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. And we'd appreciate you uh, checking out another video that we have uh, linked right up there of the uh, Tokai. Yep. Because I that was another rye from Penelope that that Tokai cask did some really great mm-hmm. things to. Um, that mm, I I think was a little bit crazy. <laughs> My opinion. My opinion. So. All right. Nice. Rye fan, give it a go. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.